Um, sometimes social work has been uh, quite judgmental and punitively driven. And that's, when you think about it, that's actually been part of our history. We've always had a social mandate of social care on the one side, but also social control. That is the history of social work. It's been very much wrapped up in our social, in our social mandate, our broad social mandate, and why society puts money aside and pay for us. Um, that said, uh, and I think this is a current argument, at the moment we've actually gone far too down, far too much down the social control side. Um, interestingly, and here's one of the bright things I've heard more recently, we'd all be aware of the troubles in Dimia, right? Um, of a sick organisation that has adopted harshly punitive and rule-driven assessments. Right? Um, and the fact that we have you know, uh, literally more than 100 Australians who've been locked up, polydemia. Uh, if you think about this, if that was happening in our criminal justice system, there would be absolute outrage about Australians who had committed no crimes being locked up. But Dimi have got away with large. Um, Dimia in their restructuring, guess who they've been recruiting? Social workers. I think that, that, oh, that, that was quite a reaffirming for me that they, especially in Canberra, have been recruiting a whole bunch of social workers. Why? Because there's a moral element. And the second part is that social workers are actually one of the skills we have, which others don't necessarily have, is that we're quite good at problem solving and looking holistically rather than just looking at the rules. It's a good point. Uh, okay, we also have, part of our history is that social workers have been complicit in unethical practices. Um, not many of them, I doubt, but we still need to be honest with ourselves. You know, we're not unblemished. We're not sister, uh, we're not sister Mother Teresa. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, it's also arguable that, in, that uh, we have uh, adopted the proceduralism that's um, that's part of the contemporary human services and that we have shrunk from the assessments that we were very good at. Um, and I think uh, child protection is an area where this is, in, where this is certainly the case. Where too many social, too, too, too many social workers as individuals but also social workers as a profession has been perhaps persuaded too, too, too quickly, too readily to adopt very narrow assessments of risk. Um, and I, I'd also argue that we've also uh, been too eager to convince ourselves of the legitimacy of our own registration arguments um, and then sort of puzzled ourselves of why doesn't anybody else listen to us? You know, why, why won't governments um, register us? Can't they see the need? Um, I say to people this, who here can think of some, uh, politicians going around arguing there's a need for social workers to be registered? It's frankly not on the political agenda, um, and you know I get a, I get a number of emails as to other members of the board saying, you know, what's social work doing about registration? We actually are trying a lot, and we have been pushing, pushing, pushing. Uh, but I've got to tell you, it's a long, hard climb, uh, and to, and one of the problems we actually, it's one of the dilemmas that we have when you're trying to convince politicians that there's a problem with unethical behaviour. If you look at our own ethics processes and how many people have been kicked out, it's about two to three per year out of 6,000 members. Now that's not a lot. You know, it's hard to justify then that this is a rampant problem that needs government intervention. Um, so part of what we need as an organisation to do and as a profession is to rethink some of our registration arguments. Um, and I uh, would throw in here that there are some people doing that trying to rethink. Uh, yes, registration is important, uh, but perhaps part of the argument we have to make is about practice standards rather than unethical behaviour. And I can tell you that practice standards are great everywhere. Not from my perspective anyway. Let's have a look at the ASW. Um, for those of you uh, who can't read this, I'll read it. It's a Gary Larson cartoon. You can see the dog up there on the high wire with the cat in its mouth and the, 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 the unicycle across the wire. And it says, high above the hushed crowd, Rex tried to remain focused. Still, he couldn't shape one nagging thought. He was an old dog, and this was a new trick. <laughs> now, the, the, the rhetorical question I pose to you is, is social work like the old dog and a new trick? 
Um, what do I mean by that? Um, sort of get to this really late Sunday to try and make some changes and did I'll come back to it. That should disappear. At this stage we should press the button and know we're going to whiz off to the right. So is this an old dog with a new <laughs> <laughs> In a sense, in a sense. Um, what I meant, what I meant by, by it is that um, what we have to look at is if social work comes from a, so a broad social mandate and the broad social mandate has changed, then so much social work. And the question then is us applying our analytical minds our, and our problem-solving approaches to looking at how best we can do that. That doesn't mean that we should, you know, whole as bolus, uncritically adopt um, um, a neoliberal approach. But I think it also, uh, equally, it means that we shouldn't just sort of sit on the sidelines, which I think we have done as a profession, and poo-poo it. And sort of say, isn't it bad, terrible, horrible? We would never do that. We don't want to be part of that. Um, I think that's a no-brainer, that you have to engage with it. You have to engage with the systems that we think are punitive, uh, that are oppressive, and that are, in many instances, going down the wrong way. Um, that would be my idea. Okay. In fact, I'm going to quickly do this and go over this and uh, delete. Where's delete? He's sitting in quickly and not finding it at all. Um, page up, page down. They put these in the same place. Okay. Uh, delete is there. And there is delete. And then we'll go back to here, which is there. Okay, up against. And not, not shirk from it, but in fact, see it as a challenge that we can overcome. And that we can, and we've been very expert in our history at changing and adapting ourselves. Um, I think we have to rethink reconceptualise what we think social work is about um, uh, and how the ASW membership should address that. Um, I'll give you just some, and this is again stuff that, that Sue's working on. And